Cardio Bites, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. What is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction? Heart failure is defined as the symptoms and or signs of heart failure caused by structural or functional cardiac abnormalities. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF, is specifically defined as heart failure that occurs in the context of an ejection fraction of 50% or higher on echocardiogram. And at least one of the following, elevated natriuretic peptides or objective evidence of cardiogenic pulmonary or systemic congestion. About 6.2 million adults in the United States have heart failure. Approximately 50% of these individuals have heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. The risk of HEFPEF increases sharply with age. Women are more likely to develop HEFPEF than men. Race may also be a factor. HEFPEF accounts for up to 70% of prevalent heart failure in Black Americans compared to white Americans. Black women in particular have a high incidence of HEFPEF. About half of individuals with HEFPEF also have comorbid conditions such as anemia, atrial fibrillation, chronic kidney disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, coronary artery disease, diabetes mellitus, hyperlipidemia, hypertension, obesity, and sleep disordered breathing. The morbidity and mortality of patients with HEFPEF rates are higher than in the general population. Given the significant burden of HEFPEF, it is essential that clinicians are aware of the appropriate diagnosis and management. The goals of treatment are to improve functional status, manage the symptoms of heart failure, and reduce the risk of hospitalization. In summary, HEFPEF accounts for 50% of heart failure in the United States with a high burden of symptoms and comorbidity. Accurate identification and prompt initiation of therapies is paramount to improve outcomes in these patients. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Novo Nordisk. Novo Nordisk did not review this content. I'm Michelle Kittleson, Professor of Medicine and Director of Education in Heart Failure and Transplantation at the Smith Heart Institute, Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. In the next module, we will discuss the differential diagnosis of peripheral or pedal edema and dyspnea. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.